All right, guys, so just a couple of things to add to this. Um, we were talking about in class, if I divide evenly, um, then kind of one of two things can happen. Depending on what the question wants, I can either write it in factored form. <laughs> And when I want to write it in factored form, um, I would write the divisor and then the quotient. So that's something like if I were to take 12 and divide it by 3, it's 4. And so if I'm writing 12 in factored form, then it looks like 3 times 4 versus if the question just wants the answer, like what is the quotient? Well then, if I'm dividing 3 into 12, then my quotient or my answer is just 4. So it really depends on what the question asks for. And then the last thing I wanted to make a note of here, if it doesn't divide evenly, then I probably don't want to put it in factored form. So you just want to write your quotient plus the remainder that you got over your divisor. So do not put in factored form. It doesn't really make sense to because it didn't really factor out. So I think the only example we had left was this one at the bottom here. So I will do that one with you. I think we did the rest in class. So I would put 2x minus 1 outside. And then I need a 3 exponent represented inside. So I'm going to put plus 0x to the third minus 9x squared minus 4. And then I'm thinking what times 2x? will get me to 2x to the 4th, and I think I just need x to the 3rd. So then I'll get 2x to the 4th when I multiply. And then when I multiply here, I got negative 1x to the 3rd. And then when I subtract, I'm really changing both the signs. Okay, so once I have that, I have no x to the 4th. But then 1x to the 3rd, and I drop everything down. So minus 9x squared, minus 4. And then I go back to the start, and what times 2x would get me x to the third? Ooh, I think I'd need half. That's sneaky. x squared. Because half times 2 gives me 1, and x times x gives me x to the third. And then half times negative 1 is negative 1 and a half x squared. And then I subtract both. Around that second one, really add. And I wouldn't worry too much about a fraction like that, but I guess it's a good thing that we kind of look at weird ones. So that would be 0, and then here would be at negative 8 and a half x squared, and I drop down the negative 4. And I'm just thinking 2 times what will get me negative 8 and a half? Oof. Um, well, probably negative 4 and a fourth. I double that completely, oop, a fourth. If I double that, I'll be at negative eight and then a half. Oh, and I need an x on it to get me x squared. Then when I times it here, we'll have negative four and a fourth x. And so when I subtract or change the signs completely, the x squareds cancel out. Um, oh, I forgot, oh my goodness, that's why we don't forget zero e. That should not be here. This should be a 0x like that. And then we're at 4 and 1 fourth x. And then lastly, i got to drop down my negative 4. And then I have to do it one more time. So what times 2x will get me 4 and a fourth? Again, I think if I just take half of that, I'll be at 2 and an eighth. Gross. But when I multiply, I think I am going to have a remainder here, so I kind of ran out of room. 
So 2 and an eighth times 2 will be 4 and a fourth. And this is under my 4 and a fourth x. And then 2 and 1 eighth times negative 1 is going to be negative 2 and 1 eighth. When I subtract, I get 1 and 7 eighths. So definitely a remainder. So I did not divide evenly. Sorry, that was a really rough example. Good luck.